Outcast Big Boy right here in Atlanta, Georgia. Bachelor Pad style out here. So we can give y'all a tour of the crib. Yeah, first guest right here. We <laughs> Come on. This is my little girl, Jordan, right here. Say what's up. Five years old. Come on. Go ahead. Go ahead. This is like uh, the living room. I call it the living room. You might call it the family room, but I'm old school. This is my wall. Um, Al Pacino is like my favorite actor of all time. Him and De Niro are like two of the best. I got my trophy cake. I got the 1999 Source Award for Artist of the Year group. We also won in 1995 for Best New Group, but they never sent me my award, so can we get that, please? And then we have uh, like six slots. And I think uh, that's uh, MTV Video of the Year for Bombs Over Baghdad, MTV uh, Video for Miss Jackson, and a couple of more like, I guess, Soul Train, Grammys. That'll be here in a minute. This right here is the dining room. Red. I like red. Red is such a pretty color, and I mean, the whole style of the whole crib is like contemporary. To tell you the truth, I never ate dinner in this room ever in my whole life. <laughs> Not even allowed lie about it. I don't know how to cook, but I got uh, milk, celery, water. Now that's about it. I go to my mom's house to eat. On the wall right here, the little security surveillance system or whatever. Got to have that just in case somebody want to do something. I don't go to sleep till like 8, 9 in the morning anyway, so really, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't try it. This is the garage, one of them right here. I got a couple of homeboys, they do the little graffiti or whatever. This is my homeboy, King, did this piece right here. You know I love beautiful women, so he put me a nice little woman up there, put my name right here in the nice little letters or whatever. I don't know what that say, I hope it don't say big boy, <laughs> just play. This is my 65 Bonneville, dirty, but you can just still check it out. And this is like a 79 Seville right here. I just got it back from L.A. a couple of months ago. I got everything done in the inside. It was like real gangster, like that. Then I have, you know, truck, little sedan or whatever. You never hear me talk about them like no Mercedes or nothing like that. But we got them too, but I mean, we don't feel the need to talk about them all the time. This is like the newest thing I bought, you know what I'm saying? It was like a little gift to myself, whatever. There's some little convertible rev. You know what I'm saying? I drive this in the summertime. Ever since I was like young, my grandma had me into like fish tanks and stuff. And like here, I have a nurse shark. His name is Billy Ocean. And I had an eel in there yesterday, but the shark ran him out of the tank and he died. Yeah. Once you see the silver flakes flop out, somebody's dead. He already ate like maybe $10,000 worth of fish like that's not supposed to be eaten. Sit me a chair right here and I smoke and listen to music and watch this in the nighttime as it's dope, especially when all the lights off. He's like a couple of the dogs we got. We got a kennel and we've been breeding them now for about going on like eight, nine years. We sell them anywhere from like $1,000 on up. We can't keep them on the ground. Uh, Tyson Bedford, Usher, Goody Mob, all them bought the dogs from us. Jermaine Dupree, the dog you seen in the Bow Wow video, that's our dog. This is like my personal stash here. They always say that pit bulls is mean. This is my daughter, Joy. You see her just come up to the gate. Nobody's barking, nobody's trying to attack her or whatever. So it's safe. This is my son's bedroom right here. Oh, he's chilling. His name is Bamboo or whatever. Just got something new they just came out with. This is like, I don't know y'all want to get that Gucci baby carrier. It's fly. It's my daughter's bedroom in here. Nice colors, you know, just to set different moods in the house. That's why I use the colors, different colors of the room. Just that uh, play of orange right here. This is uh, like the master suite. You gotta have your surveillance. I lay in bed here, 
and I can see anything coming in. Like I said, once again, don't try it. I listen to some of everything, like Biz Marquee, Madonna. You know what I'm saying? They don't know nothing about the Skid Row. I mean, I listen to it all. This is the bed where I make my kids at. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. I like to call this part the lion's den, I mean, because I just lay low. I just kick it like a big king, you know? This is like my secret door to the Boom Boom Room. Boom Boom Room is where we have all the fun. And this is like the legendary pole. This, this, is, this is where uh, some nice young ladies come out after work to kick it or whatever. This is the pre-production setup where a lot of the beats is just start from here, then we take them to Stank on your house studio. I'm gonna tell you how old school I am though. Come on in here, let me show you. The microphone set up in the shower. Close the door, we going old school raw raw over here. Every player gotta have one of these right here, cause when you, when you walk in and it's cold in the winter time, What's up, bro? you know what I'm saying? That's my man Andre 3000, I fell through. You know how I do it. But when you walk in, you know what I'm saying? You might be coming in or whatever, and it might be cold, and you just break out your remote control. You just hit it one time, like, and then it lights up. This is like basically a kicking spot for me and all my homeboys in here, man. We gonna wrap it up, but this is how we do it, A-Town style. Y'all go get that album. Let me get on this table.